guys, I'm here with Angela out at Renegers Antiques and Collectors Extravaganza. Mount Dora, Florida, one hour north of Orlando. Now they boast over 800 vendors. You guys have heard us say it before. And the third weekend in November, and then the next year, January and February is when they have it. All righty, you know we get excited about all the tents and canopies full of goodies. There is just about everything. Right out of the gate, okay? Look at this. Parapodi lamps <laughs> in the Baroque Italian-esque style. Now one was missing two sockets, so, you know, I loved them, but I could have fixed them up, but I wasn't fixing that much. We try to show you a little bit of prices, but a lot of this you need to know is there's not a price. So you have to talk with the vendors and go back and forth about the price. This I thought was unique party tables for outside with a bucket. A drink bucket in the middle. <laughs> That's for some serious parties. Now, oh, hello. Love at first sight. I went nuts over these extra large boys fishing by an Italian company. They wanted three fifty for this. I'm sure it's worth a lot more. Just really good. Now in these good tents, you see the grass is just about worn out. This was a good one. We, we did get a couple things here. I think you'll see next time in our haul video. Because this is a, a good size video and we won't have time at the end. Look at the cup and saucers guys <laughs> there's everything love the tins different ages different genres antique mid-century little bit of rust some people like that the primitive rusty man cave and so on But I got to tell you, we had a blast. We had a lot of fun this time. And we got there early, so you see it's a little light. And I'd like to give you uh, about a 360 of the place so you can get an idea. It's just loaded. By the time you're done out of here, you, you feel like you worked all day. But a fun work. You guys that go, you know what I mean. Look at the black and tackle. Real cute. Sweet antique collectibles, art glass. Like an ocean of it. Mid-century modern everything. Clothing, records, Oh boy, this was a good one. I don't know if you can tell yet. This gal was a character in here. We had fun with her and we did find a couple things with her. Wow. Love the Satsuma lamps. And look at these guys, solid bronze. You, I couldn't pick them up. 
one at a time, I couldn't lift it. Really cool. Chinese dragons. Wonderful period furniture. And here's Pootie again. <laughs> These were good. I loved them, but didn't want to really pay up on them. I think they were 150 a piece. A lot of beautiful teak carvings. Now, you see where the camera goes. We had fun in here. These folks were nice and they had a ton. All of this is their stuff, like three rows of tables that connect at the other end. And she said she likes to group everything by color. You can see it, it's real obvious and it's fun to shop this way. We did make a mistake on that amethyst vase and that should have come home, I think. <laughs> you'll, you'll think we're crazy because we did really good, but I'm still sitting here staring at that. <laughs> it was extra good and so reasonable. You see all the blues, blue and white, light blue, cobalt blue, baby blue, there's some French Limoges, blue and gold, MCM cookware. Wonderful vases. And I swear there's our pair of crystal candle hurricanes. some depression glass cup and saucer again you could just really hammer up your collections out here can you tell love this group of vases especially that one you're seeing I me mean, look at real close made in Austria $50 made it stay there but it's worth more than that really here's the French urn really good Salt and pepper in the violets. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Look at the different greens. There's a frosted Kelly green again. Angela loved this dresser set. Oh my goodness. Look at this in the Victorian style. I've, it's got to be that period too. About 1890. Now we actually came back to this lady's. <laughs> Angela's getting her to come over. We saw this oil painting at the end of the table and had to ask. Lots of uh, 
MCM lighting. There's everything. Gothic frames, window frames. Real popular. You could actually leave out of here with all the chipmunks in life size. Wonderful mid century lamps. And probably at least a ton of costume jewelry and other jewelry. Nice jewelry in here. More glass. Look at these wonderful MCM replacement hardware. Glass knobs, hinges, stamp hinges. Early tools and irons and telephone. couple of things in there we liked and Angela's got her eye on something she's on the prowl it's not that aluminum stuff <laughs> look at this piece holy mackerel Oh, it's amazing. This real bronze urn I love, of course. It's going to have a stupid price because I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so Italian, eh? Now we saw the Fenton brothers out there, but I didn't film them because we see them in Daytona. They do come out here to Mount Dora with a ton of their stuff, but I like seeing them and film when we go to Daytona, which I do, you know, a few times a year. So we didn't put them in this one. We kind of just saw them. This trophy style urn I loved in the Moriaji Satsuma style. The lime green bowls are cute. More amber glass. Murano glass. These were plates, so hard to show you with the glare and the reflection. Victorian plates in a frame, in a shadow box, too. Some wonderful Art Deco pieces in here. I really needed a wheelbarrow. 
Angela already had a wheelbarrow full. So I had to really pinch. <laughs> really cool it. Kinda. <laughs> oh, look at the reticulated bowls. That's sweet. Even the truck for sale. Now we saw a couple of wash stands, actual wash stands with the ringer in the middle and a tub on each side. Man, they just grabbed us up really cute. More collectible glass. And your tin photos, your old 1800s photos. Here's a pair of Nippon, wonderful vases. Double handle. And a tall painted tray, real cute. More goodies. This lady was all Christmas stuff. And you can see the wonderful EAPG basket. The wine decanter crystal. That price was right up there. Here's some vintage ornaments. Some wonderful carnival glass. Look at that carnival. They had a ton. There's a raspberry glass in the Fenton Epern. They wanted a bundle, even with one Epern missing. I, you never see that color. I call it raspberry. It is staggering. Beautiful thing. And we're looking for something to eat. Quite an array of things. <laughs> Look at the beautiful chest and trunks. There's always a guy out here with some. This guy, I mean, I was right on the edge of wanting a couple things. Just to show you the vastness of these tents. I mean, look at this is one setup here. Amazing duck decoy collection, the old wooden decoys, real collectible, I guess. Wonderful glass. some English Tobies. Early American. 50s. And we get a workout out here. We probably saw two-thirds of what we call the lower 
extravaganza area. This pavilion is always here. And then there's AC buildings that are always there every weekend. From nutcrackers to silver, cases and cases of jewelry. Now this was interesting. Big, full-size Remington bronzes, all proper and original. Every one of them had a sold sign on them. Look at it. I'm going to show you. <laughs> Everything on this table. Oh, so, guys, if you liked our video today, give us a like, a share, a comment, tell a friend. We had a blast, we hope you do, and we're going to see you in the hall from this shopping experience. I personally had probably the best time of the whole year here with Angela, and we had fun, guys. And it doesn't take a fortune. We took some Christmas money. But we had a good time. Take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next wonderful, over-the-top, amazing shopping and decorator video.